welcome to another great episode of What's the 411, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cott. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Courtney Rashawn. Let's get a quick take on what's mm. popping. Yes, Kanye is broke. <laughs> Kanye went to Twitter in a rant explaining why he's $53 million in debt. He said, yes, I am personally rich and I can buy furs and houses for my family, but I need access to more money in order to bring more beautiful ideas to the world. West has since tweeted Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg asking him to invest $1 billion into Kanye West's ideas to help him with his debt issues. Good luck with that. Yeah. Okay. okay. In Grammy Award news, they were recently handed out. The winners were Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd, Bruno Mars, D'Angelo, and nice. singer John Legend. Damn, Common won for Best Song in Motion Picture for mm. Glory. And, um... Nally mm -hmm. Cole's family is upset because they didn't honor her at the Grammys because she passed away. Right. They, they, that was they should have done like some kind of. Yeah, she won a Grammy tribute. nine right. times. Nine right. times she should have been yeah. honored. That, yeah. that was the thing with Natalie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Kesha. That's sad. All right, so pop star Kesha, whose real name is Kesha Rose Siebert, allegedly accused her producer, Dr. Luke, of drugging and raping her. I heard about yes. that. Yes, yeah. well, during her 18th birthday um, at a party during t in, in 2006, and she accuses Luke of being sexually inappropriate with her on several occasions. Mm -hmm. um, although Luke was never really formally charged, and his um, record label, Sony, is standing behind him, uh, Kesha is trying to go ahead and you know have a judge have her released from her contract, as well as, you know, bring to light that she was allegedly raped by the producer. Sony standing by Luke, and a judge awarded, um, well, didn't actually award her, but a, a judge refused to release her from the record label, mm -hmm. so it's still in litigation, and it's still pending, so, you know, hopefully, you know, they will um, yeah, they, pretty they much, will. Yeah, you know, will. it'll wrap it up, okay. and they'll make a decision mm -hmm. on what's going on with Kesha and this producer. Free Kesha. <laughs> and, Free Kesha. <laughs> yes, and we bid a, bon a fond, fond fair well to author Harper Lee. Lee wrote the classic novel To Kill a Mockingbird. Yes. Lee died in her sleep at the age of 89. Singer Vanity, remember her? She was the former lead singer of Vanity 6 and she passed away at the age of 57. The singer born Denise Matthews died of kidney failure. So oh, sad. We yeah. also Beautiful send our condolences to Big Ange. Yes. I mean, it was oh, wow. a real outpouring yeah. from the mob wives. Her name is mm -hmm. Angela Rayola, right? Mm -hmm. I think I got that right. And she was a mob wife. She died of cancer at age 55. Yes. But I know I saw it on the news. Ev so many ethnicities were there. She had like yes. a yes. three day service, yes. right? Yes. So. And also died uh, Justice Scalia, who was a brilliant mind. Right? People, people are not happy about that. They're like, "Good riddance." Yeah, <laughs> we didn't want to right. say that out loud. But, yeah. When we return, we'll be having an interview with motivational spiritualist Natasha Lee. Trust me, you do not want to. You miss don't. It. You I'm telling you. Oh right my God! There. It's nothing like we've done before, <laughs> honey. Amazing. Share it, too. Share it, share it, share yes. it. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you. Come look at Mr. Feather. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome to a great episode of What's the 411. We have a treat for you guys today. This is Natasha Lee. Hi. And let me tell you something. This is something that we haven't done so far on this show. So we're excited. So we just want to like get started. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So Absolutely. Natasha. Right? So she is the motivational spiritualist. And so what does that mean, really? So, um, I have a gift where I can read people's past, present, and future. And I call myself a motivational spiritualist because I utilize my gift to actually motivate people and empower and inspire them to propel in life and to have clarity, to know where they're going, to, to live a purposeful life and to be inspired. Mm -hmm. So that's why I call myself a motivational spiritualist, not psychic. Okay, right. so not psychic. Right. Not psychic. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Like a spiritual okay. guide or like a spiritual advisor, yes. spiritual guidance. Yes. yes. So how did you discover your gift? 
Well, I was six years old, and my mom and I were sitting at the table. She was drinking coffee, and I was having a bowl of cereal, like an average six-year-old. And um, I was just, I started talking to my mom about some health issues that was coming up for her friend. And I was hmm. like, Mom, you know, what's going on with Miss Boone? And she was like, nothing. And I'm like, no, she's sick. She's having a heart condition. You know, something's going on. And, and she's, like, she's like, what? You're <laughs> six. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. 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 And I was like, no, no, okay, seriously. Okay. You know, she's six years old. And remember back in the day when the phones were hanging up on the wall? Yes, remember that, yes, right? Yes. So she's like, I said, you might want to call her. She has some doctor's appointments. You know, she's sick. And you need to go visit her and talk to her. So she said, what, girl? Let me. So she picked up the phone and was like, let me call her. She said, boom, girl, what's going on with you? Tasha <laughs> sitting here talking crazy and talking about your heart. She goes, Audrey, oh, my God, I have an appointment. I've been having chest pain and something with my wow. heart. Wow. And at that wow. moment, my family realized that I had a gift. What? So, But I hate yeah. it. <laughs> That's that amazing. Wow. That six years old. Like it's, it's wow. Thing. Yes. Oh so I, I'm convinced that I was born with it because at mm, six absolutely. years old, exactly. you know. Exactly. So, yeah. But I hit the gift up until I was 24. Why? Why? I was afraid of it. I thought I was weird. I thought I was spooky. You know, <laughs> I, I knew everyone's business in school. My teachers, this, my friends. Oh, that would be good. You yeah, right? Well, it's oh it's good. Because one of my teachers, you know, in my mind, you know, I'm like, she's going to have a baby. She's going to have a baby. She's going to have a boy. She's going to have a boy. And then she came to the classroom a few weeks later and announced, oh, it's kids, I'm having a baby. I'm like, you know, but these are things that I knew. Like, I always right. knew who was going to be valedictorian, you know, wow. who was going to, like, you know, be with the most popular boy in the school. Right. Like, I just knew everything. Do you just so. see it? Do you, like, look at Courtney and then see her doing something? Or do you just feel it? I or what feel is it? it. And it just comes to me. What are you um, feeling right now? Are you feeling anything right now? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of positivity. I'm definitely yeah. sitting around a powerful group of women right now. Yeah, we um, fight like that. Yeah. 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 We're like, hold up, bitch. <laughs> There was a shit on the camera. camera. Man, yeah. over there. Let me stop smiling. No, but it's uh, fine. Like, you know, women who are really up to things, you know, really up to things, good stuff, empowerment things. You know, yeah. Anika, I know you have a, a million and one things going on. No, too, too. Um, very, like, forceful. A lot of great projects that I see you working on. Phenomenal projects um, with a lot of group of people within the entertainment world. Not just um, the 411, mm -hmm. but I see you working on other things with some other people, like, LA. LA is coming up to me. Um, I don't know if you have a contact in LA or someone else. Yeah. Not your That's friend. Nasty. Um, <laughs> but it's someone else. It's not, not just her. Mm -hmm. It's someone else. It's not her. I know you're going to say that, but it's not her. Mm -hmm. It's another connection that you have in L.A. Um, that's going to really, really support you in a massive way, and that's going to grow a huge appearance for you in L.A. Well, the comedy stuff? <laughs> the comedy the stuff and for something else. Yeah. Another project with television. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Nice. You see TV for me? Anything? anything? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're going to be doing, but yeah. journalism has always been your passion. Yes. Um, journalism yeah. has always been your passion also. Yeah. But I, I see you like in being very passionate about women empowerment. Yes, yes, she is. That's something very near to you. Girl. Definitely. All right. Yeah. If, if it was like back in the day, she'd have totally been a, a Black Panther. Black I Black believe Panther that. Right. She, she, she always wants to wear an afro. We're like, oh, no. Yeah. She's like, I want to oh, wear yeah. an afro. Because no. Because no. Because no. Because no. Angela Davis is like, no, girl. Our people on the carpet. No. No. Yeah, she's very she's political. She's an activist. Yes, I love it. I see that. Like, very powerful about women empowerment, women rights. You know, doing the right thing. You know? And that's phenomenal as well. And something... But I feel like you get that from a family member. Like, you have a strong woman in your family. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, who is very, yeah. like, forceful, whether it be your mom and your grandmother. Um, my aunt and my mom. Okay, Both yeah, because I'm them. seeing Very, them. very strong. Yeah, yeah. strong yes. women. That's where you get it from. Yeah. Um, and it's it's actually amazing, and I'm glad that you took that trait on. Yay. Um, it's really good, too. And then with you, a book is coming up for me with you as well. What? Nice, I like the book. I don't know. Yeah. Like, a, I don't know. like a, a book or, like, an article in the magazine or something you're gonna oh. be writing I, oh. have you been writing huh. i have an idea I have an with idea. a magazine or a blog or something like that magazine okay because i'm yeah. seeing magazine is, is coming up nice. oh, that'll be nice. yeah. okay she's yeah. holding out on info yeah. 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 right now it's just an idea for her mm -hmm. but see that's the thing with me being a motivational spiritualist right people have ideas in their minds but mm -hmm. they're not manifesting the ideas right, right. so as a motivational right. spiritualist i'm like in your mind pushing you to manifest <laughs> what's in your mind yeah. like if right. it's a thought right. for you and if you want to do it then why is it just a thought Bring right. it why aren't you doing it bring it to life right. like live your life with a purpose you know True. with everything that you want to do i don't care if you're doing 20 things at one time do it right because right. you can Right. So what about that's, little old me? That's a good. <laughs> well, yeah. So do that magazine. Get going with that. Okay. Okay, okay. please. Yes, thank and you. for you, girl. <laughs>
<laughs> all right. So, all right, you got your business. Yes. Right? Um, makeup. I yes. see that very strong. And I see you enrolling a lot of celebrities into your makeup brand, which yes. is absolutely phenomenal. That's a good way to market yourself. Um, but there's a lot of changes going on. Yes. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty um, with some things. Not in a bad way, but you looking to grow quickly. Um, things are going in the right direction, but it's not moving as quickly as you predicted. I'm impatient, yes. Right, very. That but you need energy. to be patient. It's the Aries. Mm -hmm. I want to tell everybody. Yes, you need to be patient, too. Um, and then your car. Um, you have a beautiful car. I'm about right. to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, beautiful car. But I was just about to tell you, it's time for you to get a new car. Yes, it is. Right, yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to tell you. Beautiful what? Car. How does she know um, that? Now, look at that. How does she know that? Right. How do you know she's not driving the hoopty? Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. This girl is the truth. I know, I know what she's doing. <laughs> she drives me home a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice car. But it's, it's something with the rudders, root rotors. Something no, like nothing's that. wrong with it. It's just yeah. time for it to go. But it, it may have issues, but I don't know. It does have issues. It's brand new. Something's up with the rotors. Maybe anybody need brakes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe. But it's time for you to get rid of it anyway. It doesn't yeah. matter. Don't spend no money fixing it. It's too expensive. I'm not. But I'm not. get your new car. Um, that, and what does like we white know mean the car it. that you drive, white? and so it's like white. The color white. White. Her car's yeah. white. My car is white. It represents oh. um. I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac. I do okay. have like white sheets, white okay, towels, white Okay, that's what I'm saying. White. I said, what does white mean to you? Yeah, because I see white is strong. Yeah, white is very strong. Um, uh -huh. I, like I'm very monochromatic. I either wear like a lot of black, a lot of white. Yeah. I don't wear a lot of patterns or colors or right. anything like that or plaids. Everything mm -hmm. is just pretty solid. But yeah. yes, all of my towels, my sheets, my comforter, the pillowcases, Her car, everything. everything is white. white. Yes, she I see in that. your sheets, girl. I know. I'm like, <laughs> <"That's laughs> <funny." laughs> but, you know, don't talk about my sheets. I've been, I've been, I've, been, I've, been I've, you know, been told that you know they thought it was a little bit crazy because everything was white. There was a bit of a hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. But just for me, I'm allergic to a lot of different dyes and things like that. So when I have like the white sheets and towels, I don't break out. Like right. dyes make uh -huh. me break out. So. That's, that's white. I'm like, what does white mean to you? White, 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 what? white, white. That's so white. Saying. You yeah. know? Um, wow. But that's good though. But that's that's like awesomeness. I can't believe she knew that. That's so personal. Right. Yeah. That, so it's that's really so good. personal. Like. No yeah. one knows that. <laughs> I know. I know. You, know. you know they thought that I done told all their business. I came, I came into the studio today. Everybody's looking at me with a side eye like a big no. mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to give her a one sheet. Like, yeah, this is okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that is business. Mm. So, yeah. so you see positivity. So, well, positivity. And that's actually really good. And I love the fact that you love your white cars. I like white cars, too. It's yes. actually sexy. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so, no, it's really good. I, I like that because you like purity. You like clarity. Um, but you need to stop meditating. Yes, I do. Okay? It's because you have so much going on in your mind that you need to sit still. Slow down. Yes. Right? And the only way that you're going to sit still is if you meditate. Yes. You need right. to really sit down. And I'm being serious with you. No, I, I know. It's in your app. Okay? A good app called Timer. Wow. Yeah, I you do. need because it's just like you all over the place. Like one minute you doing this, then the next minute you doing that, and then the next minute you doing this. I mean, you get everything done. Don't get me wrong, right. you get it done. But by the time you get it done, you're so depleted and you're so exhausted. And it's like, why are you putting yourself through that? Oh God, because it's, it's supposed to be good. Help is hard to find. But that's it's why. Supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it supposed fun, to be but, fun. But sometimes you have. Um, you know, like variables that are in the equation that don't make it fun, you know, so that's like the downside of it. But overall, I've, I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed and I'm, yes. you know, I'm extremely happy that, you know, I'm able to do the things that, that I do do. You mm -hmm. know? Wow. No, she's very, going to be very successful and your brand is going to grow actually. Mm -hmm. it is. Very big. So. Yes, thing. very big. And I see you having a line also in Macy's. Really? Yeah. Connect with them. Really? I actually have a connection to Macy's. Oh my God. What? I'm like, I'm like, I I'm going to connect you to my we're, we're we're gonna gonna have to invite you back. Yeah. <laughs> you see we, we might have to invite you back. Oh, no, Josh is about to be my best friend. But tell us yeah. about your book and yes, tell us please. about the radio. Oh, tell us about yes, your stuff. Yes, and then you can tell me about my man that's coming down the road. Tell me about Ray Ray. When is he coming? Ray Ray, shit! Ray Ray. Ray, Ray. Ray. This is my fantasy. Yes, it's good. Tell us um, so I have a book that I'm writing. It's titled Don't Be a Victim of Your Circumstance. And the reason why I'm writing this book is because I feel like people are actually a victim of their circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if something happened to you in your past, it's done. Happened. Right. Done. Moving on. If right. something's happening to you in your present at this moment, it's happening. 
Mm-hmm. What's coming out of my mouth, it's coming out of my mouth, and I have no control over it. <laughs> but we do have full control over our future. Right. Mm-hmm. So people want to be stuck in relationships that didn't work out, a job that didn't work out, you know, health issues. It is what it is. It's the circumstance, but you don't have to be a victim of it. Right? You know, you right? Know, right. To add to that, so I read somewhere that said that humans are the only species that pay for their mistakes over and over, over and again. over again. Like right. if, a, if a dog does something, it's like boom, and then it's over. We right. repeat it in our minds. Right, right. Yeah. right. It's true. Mm-hmm. And that's a problem. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's a detriment to society. Because we're not moving on and moving along, which is why you got people killing each other. They're like all of this craziness that's going mm-hmm. on in the world is because people are so stuck. Right. So again, you know, as a motivational spiritualist, you know, I'm getting people out of their way. Yeah. Like if you feel yeah. like something is going on with you and you know, you didn't get the job. I'm gonna let you know, like, what's coming up for you. Why didn't that job work out? Why didn't that relationship work out with that guy who sucked and tell you what he was really doing? Like, you didn't know. I'm gonna tell right. you why you left him. Why mm-hmm. it didn't work out? Okay. You know, just really like give you clarity and understand that what's not meant to be is not meant to be, and be okay with that. Right. You know, right. Just be okay with that. Right. Yeah. And so your radio show, where, where can they catch that? Where can they listen to that? So with Zeno Live, mm-hmm. um, I actually am in the process of launching. I already have the information, but I'm going to be launching that when I come from L.A. Right. Um, probably nice. within the next couple of weeks. Ooh. So the name of my radio show is called Talk to Tosh. Because it's like it. Talk to Tosh, just like this. Tosh. Right. Right. Yeah. Talk to Tosh. Yeah. Um, and it's a conversation. Mm-hmm. Because my sessions, my intuitive sessions is what I call it, um, it's very much so like a conversation. Right. You know, you're going to feel like I'm your regular girlfriend that you've known forever and ever and ever and I just don't happen to know your business. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right? right? So that's the fun part to me. But right. it's, it really is an inspiring moment because right. that's my purpose is to really empower and inspire people to live their life with purpose period and we right. see that sitting here right with you right now oh, it's like so you. Yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh she's like yeah, 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 yeah. so oh, like absorbing her like oh my yes. gosh thank, yeah. you. thank you guys i'm That's telling you now yeah. thank you for coming i'm, oh I'm met i we went to lunch i cried the whole time she the did. whole time she's i was like I, i'm never this vulnerable <laughs> I know I'm gonna be so vulnerable. Like, oh my god! I mean, I have, uh, it's like I it's have, like talking to your grandma. So you be like, man, I love. <laughs> I have a lot of clients and um, international clients as well. Mm. Switzerland, Dubai, London, and Norway. Mm. Um, I Skype people. I meet people over the phone. I meet people in person, of course. And I also can read pictures. So I do have people who are dating, you know, guys. And they're like, girl, I just went on a date. Look at this picture. And I can look at the picture. And I can just be like, I ain't got nobody to show. show. Oh, wow. I don't got nobody to show. I'm going to show you my kids. What's she doing now? It's just, it's just the energy that I get. Wow. Um, and the great crazy thing is when I have my sessions, I make people take notes. Right. Because when the session is over, two weeks later, you're going to be like, remember you told me this, this, this? And I'm going to be like, I did? Well, that happened. I'm like, okay, great. I don't remember. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the information is not for me. It's for you. Oh, so wow. once the information yeah. comes out and I give it to you, you take it's notes, gone. you take it, it's gone. I don't remember because it's not for me to obtain. Right. Mm-hmm. So the problem with that is I have a horrible memory. Right. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? My memory is awful. Oh, my God. I don't remember anything. My boss thinks there's something wrong with me. I don't, and he was like, Natasha, I just told you about the proposal. I'm like, Peter, I don't know. Did you write it down? You know, I really, my memory wow. is very bad, and it's because of my gifts. Because you have so much going on. Yeah. You'd go crazy if you had to keep all that. No, yeah. Outside, yeah. And yeah. on the train, forget about it. I have to listen to music on the train. I, mm-hmm. I left my headphones home one right. time, and I thought I was going to go crazy, like psychotic crazy. Like wow. I, Because it's too much. It's a closed space. And right. I know this one is sick, and this one just was diagnosed with cancer, and all of this, right. you know. And it's right. like, Gosh. and it's sad. Yeah, you know? I was ask you: Is it does it become emotionally for, for emotional for you, um, for with people that you know you that you um, you know that you advise, or mm-hmm. people that you don't know, like that you may see, mm-hmm. in, you know, out in public or on the mm-hmm. train or what mm-hmm. have you, mm-hmm. and you kind of know what's about to happen mm-hmm. to them? Does do you like? You know, does it affect you emotionally at all? It does, because I'm still a human being. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a gift, you know, and I'm, I'm still a human being. And I feel sad. You know, I feel sad for them. And I, I do cry. Yeah, I do. Wow. I do. I, I cry a lot, actually. Oh, no. I have a bathroom in my bedroom, and I go there, that's my crying space. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Do you ever not say anything? Nothing. Like, do you ever mm-hmm. not tell people things? Like, because you see something, and you're like, hold back. I know what I can like... say and what I can't say. I know everything about everyone's life from A to Z. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but there are some things that I don't say, and there are some things that I do. I know what people can handle and what they can't. Right. Mm-hmm. That's so, so, yeah. so deep. Now, tell us about your, your uh, nonprofit organization that you have. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have a nonprofit organization called Fostering Leadership for Young Women, mm-hmm. where we empower and inspire young women within the foster care system with mm-hmm. leadership and professional development. So I'm grateful to have this gift to support an organization like that yes. because, you know, our foster care kids, they hold so much in. Yes. Because right. they, experience, they have so many daunting experiences that they're dealing with, and they don't feel safe to open up to anyone right mm-hmm. so i have my girls that come into my program and they don't want to talk right. and i'm like that's unacceptable like if something's going on in your mind you're here and it's open space to be free right to mm-hmm. open up to talk about what's happening with you you know and they just don't do it you know they don't want to talk they don't want to do it so what i'll do is i'll pull them outside in the room i'm like christina what's going on with you nothing Nothing's going on, Miss Tosh. Nothing. I'm like, I know what happened today. Do you want to tell me? Do you want me to tell you how you want to do this? Because either way, it's going to come out. You know, and then I'm like, you know, I don't want to tell you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Come in the room. So I'm like, you know, either way, we're going to talk about it. Right. So sometimes they're like, I don't want to talk about it. And I'm like, okay, cool. So this is what happened. Boom, 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 one, two, three. And they're like, yes. I'm like, great. Let's talk about it. Right. So this is supporting them because it's releasing. You have to release stuff to move on in your life. You can't hold on to stuff like that. You never move forward. Yeah. Why that population? Because it's a pro- it's a hard, it's a problem in society. Okay, you know, seventy three percent of the population in jail are come out of foster care. Wow. Okay. So people, Good you know, point. these kids, yeah. they have so much things that they're going through in their lives, and mm-hmm. it's like they take it on when they figure out a foster care at twenty one years old. Who do they go to? What do they do? Yeah, they exactly. turn to crime. They turn to gangs. They turn exactly. to having a baby, yeah, you know, exactly. at a young age because they, they felt that space, space you right. know. Yeah. And when they become leaders and are clear as to who they are as young people and individuals, right. then they could be great as opposed to being a victim. Right. Exactly. Right. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. So powerful. It is. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So much knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. Thank you so Thank you. much so for great. coming yes. in yes. and joining us. This is, has been amazing. And you okay, have people out there. You have you to get in to touch with Tasha. What do you need to ask <laughs> <laughs> Get Kizzy. Get Kizzy. I don't get know. I mean... I gotta show you the picture. Will you come back? Will yes. you come back yes. with us? Of course. Yes. Will, 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 can we have like a love line or something where we talk about you that kind of stuff? That sounds pretty dope. Let's do it. We okay. actually, I love helping women with their men because yeah. men, you know, we don't want to talk about that. Right I now. love I them know. though. Ray Ray. I love <laughs> <stuff. laughs> you Ray Ray. Ray. Let's talk about Ray Ray. Ray Ray coming. Ray Ray coming. I know, but I already know he has to wait a while. Yeah, because you got a lot going on. You're not ready for Ray Ray right now. I don't think anyone's ready for Ray Ray. He'll leave. He'll leave. He'll be like, listen. Ray Ray, turn up. So much Thank for you. watching what's the 411. Thank you so much for yes, coming in. Of course, this so is fun. Thank you guys. Yes. Absolutely. That interview was amazing. Yeah. I mean, she had you to the sheets. Okay? I know. The I couldn't sheets. believe how you much have information. Sheets. Yes, and how would anyone know that unless they've been in my bedroom? She knew that. And she was not. And she was, she was amazing. Yeah. Oh, my oh my God. Gosh. Gosh. She is. Share this, share this interview. Because I'm going to see amazing. her tomorrow. Yeah. Are you really? <laughs> yes, I really am. Literally. I'm really I'm seeing her it. tomorrow. So, so you know, my magazine piece. You know Thank what you. I need to know? I need to know what's in the pocket! Her boots was in Trinidad for like three yes. weeks. What? Three weeks she was in Trinidad. So what's in the pot, gal? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nothing's in the pot. She probably gave it all away. Is there anything in the pot? It's empty. What you got in that pot? <laughs> Stay tuned. You're crazy. Stay tuned for Caribbean cook-off. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Okay, so now this one just got back from um, Trinidad for Carnival. Yes. So I don't even, I, I know what she got in the pot. She got roti. <laughs> oh, what is it, chicken? What is it? Is it chicken roti? Is it, is it, is it Girl, roti? We got to have it high, right? Is it ro- What you got in the pot? Whatever it is, it's We know it's, we know it's, it's hot. Tasty. Was it, yes. it was tasty it's in tasty. Trinidad? It was. Okay, so Trinidad Carnival wrapped up. Just a couple of weeks ago, and as usual, it was a dazzling display of Trinidadian culture. It was lovely. I loved it. But unfortunately, it ended on a sad note. Huh. The death of a young Japanese woman 
Asami Nagakia. Now, Miss Nagakia was in Trinidad to play Steel Pan, and she's come to Trinidad many times before to play. And this time around, she was found strangled to death, guys. Strangled wow. to death in Port of Spain, still wearing her masquerade costume. Now, wow. yeah, I mean, it was it's crazy, yeah. Wow. So the investigation into her death, you know, is still ongoing, but the fallout from her death was, like, immediate. It's already, like, spread. So the Port of Spain mayor, Raymond Tim Key, implied that it's women's vulgarity and lewdness that is to blame for situations like this. And they should be more responsible so that, in quotes, they ensure that they are not abused. Now, wow. the backlash was swift. And I mean, feminist group Womanantra, Womantra, excuse me, organized a protest of women and men calling for his resignation over those comments. And a few days later, he resigned. He was gone. So my question to you ladies is, there's debate. Should he have resigned? Or, you know, are the, the comments taken out of context and, you know, it wasn't really a big deal? Or, you know, was it right? Was it right that he got booted out of office? Yeah. I, I think that that was probably probably a bit extreme. I know the feminist is going to come trying to jack me, but <laughs> you're right next to But you. you know, sometimes we say things. You know, he's the mayor. He's getting a lot of heat for something like that. It's uh, hit. Trinidad is like bombarded with people and right. he's the mayor and then something like this happens and now you're the one that has to, you know, be responsible for that kind of stuff and you just kind of say things. He's still human. I just think losing your job is a bit much. Oh, so you think basically that he just spoke out of turn and maybe if he had more time to think about it, he might right. not have said that. I mean, basically he said afterwards he apologized and all that right. stuff, but you know... It was very inappropriate yeah. for him to insinuate yeah. that a woman, a woman, the way she carries herself, um, would lead to her being raped or murdered, um, because that's what it seems um, as if he was implying with the statement, mm -hmm. you know, which is un un uncalled for, it's unnecessary, and you know, should he have been put out of office? That's a little bit harsh. I kind of agree. I agree with that. I agree, for, you know, because you know, make it. That's a very bold statement that generalizes all women. But, but no, but yeah, but that's the that's the whole point. I think he was making the party look bad because the prime minister chimed in. He's a member. He was a treasurer right. in his party, and he was like, at first, he was like, oh no, you know. I don't think he needs to be booted out. But then when he saw all that backlash, he yeah. was like, listen. It's too political. Raymond Tim Key, you got to go. So yeah. the, and when wow. the prime minister is saying you yes. should resign, I think that he, he, they probably were not happy with his with his uh, his tender tenure. I think there's issues. Yeah, it has it to be too. issues. It's definitely issues. Just a statement. Well, but it's a bad statement. It's a, it is and, a bad statement. And, and that petition that, that they started, that women's group, Womantra, it had 4,000 signatures within hours calling That's, for its recognition. Exactly. It's, it, was, it was bad. Okay. So yeah. Hey, going out like that? Yeah. Why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you. Come look at Mr. Feather. Look what I have, Mr. Bird. Remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Well, that will do it for another great episode of What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check us out on our website, www.whatsthe411.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Blab, and Twitter. And subscribe. Please, people, subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Please check us out, and we just might mention you on the show. Yes, I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of Anika McLean and Courtney Rashawn, thank you for watching What's the 411. We will see you next week. 411, who's got the 411? 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411. What's the 411? The 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. We got the 411.